Yay, another wig, huh? Hi guys, it's me, Pina Palmer. Uh, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I keep everything pink and spooky. And today we are doing something clearly very pink. <laughs> We're doing a Marilyn look today. Yay! Marilyn Ma! I hate my tanner hands. These are so terrifying. These are these are horrible. So orange you guys have been asking for a Marilyn Monroe tutorial from me uh, and so here it is today I'm gonna show you how I transformed myself into the glamorous icon Miss Marilyn Monroe Mwah. <laughs> I do a little bit more of a drag Marilyn than others. Well, you don't know me very well, do you, Creepella? I'm the Latina Marilyn Monroe. This isn't like Marilyn's typical makeup. We we drag it up here, okay? I, I have to go full drag or else I just, I just don't feel like her. Here's what to expect for my channel coming up. One week, I will do something pink, which means usually makeup or hair transformation of some kind. And then the spooky part. Spooky. Will usually be something along the lines of a movie location. I just love finding new places to wear diamonds. Or even transforming myself into somebody like Elvira, Vampira. But that's the plan for my channel, so I hope you guys are okay with that and understand because I'm definitely bringing the pink and the spooky. All right, so let's see what you guys need to achieve this drag Marilyn Monroe look. All right, so here are the items you are going to need to create your Marilyn Monroe look, and here are some of the color codes as well. Go ahead and take a screen grab of this. You're gonna need it later. Ta-da! Bare face. Ah! Ah! I just put foundation on, try to get a lighter shade of foundation for Marilyn, and next I'm just gonna kind of bake a little bit so we're not as crazy. This is the Fit Me from Maybelline. Just gonna dust it, and I'm gonna put it just underneath my eye and kind of lift up down the side of like the cheek area. just kind of up on on the side of the nose a little bit next the next thing we're going to do is we're going to contour the face a little bit Marilyn did this a lot I'm gonna probably take the shade celebrity skin in the Jeffree Star blue blood palette I know you guys hate Jeffree Star but it's just what I have right now ever since everything so just take something that's kind of like a taupey skin color, brown taupey skin color. Marilyn's jaw kind of went up, mine's more square. And then now we're gonna do the cheekbones. Start here at the kind of temple area. And don't carry it all the way out, just kind of stop maybe where your eye begins. It's the best way I can kind of tell you. And then the next trick is to go up on the temples right here to cast a shadow. I don't know why she did it, but I'll show a picture here to show you what I'm talking about. We're just gonna kind of lift that face a little bit and contour in that area. It's, it's a bizarre thing, but she did, so now I'm doing it. Okay, now that we have kind of a structure to our face, Let's go ahead and do eyebrows. Okay. So when it came to Marilyn's eyebrows, they had a point, probably in the center of her eye, and they kind of went down. They were kind of like a sad angle, and then they went at a direct point. I'll put a picture here. There's like a point at the middle of her eyebrows, so that's what we're gonna try and do. They weren't too thick, they weren't too thin, like Rita Hayworth's brows, but they were somewhere kind of in between. With eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. So I'm gonna take this, this is by Joa. I love this brow pencil because it's so small. Look at that, it comes in different colors. I love it, I use it for my ends and just to kind of structure a bit. So I'm gonna brush down my eyebrows because my eyebrows sit pretty high. Why, I don't, I don't know why. Just Chola eyebrows. So now you're gonna wanna fill in your eyebrows and don't forget that point at the very top and try to keep your eyebrows on the light or taupe side. I like taking this and making like fake little eyebrow things. I also have a white eyebrow here. Why? I, I, I don't know why I have like white eyebrow right here. It just has always been there since I was like in middle school, so. Fuck you're old. 
And then we're gonna go at a point, probably somewhere in the middle here, like so. And then we're gonna point down from there. They kind of like, they almost did like this motion. You see how I'm like making this sad face? Like they kind of curl up and then they go out like if you're like, you're concerned the entire time. Concerned. Cool. One eyebrow done. I'm gonna go off and do the other one. Eyebrows are set. They are definitely in a family. They're not twins. They're distant cousins. But good enough, yeah? Yeah. Now I'm gonna dust away any remaining product uh, from powder. And now we're gonna go on to nose contour. It's make or break. This is one of the moments where I feel I really transform into Marilyn is the nose contour. Uh, as you can see, my nose is very pointy from the side. Um, I do have a bulb like hers, but it doesn't go like up. Uh, it goes pretty straight. So I'm going to teach you a kind of drag trick that I learned from Jimmy James, who is like a drag Marilyn impersonator who actually did makeup on myself. Uh, how I kind of achieve Marilyn's nose at a certain angle to give the illusion. So it's all fake. This is the Witching Hour palette from ColourPop. As you see, it's like the Sanderson sisters. It's the Sanderson sisters, right? And in there, I'm gonna use this kind of taupey color in the color of Thumb and Us. Thumb and Us. And I'm gonna take just kind of like a thin brush down here. I'm gonna dab it. And this is actually a trick that Marilyn did herself. Here's a picture. As you can see, there is a line right here above where kind of the bridge and the bulb meet on your nose. So if you don't have a bulb kind of like I do, when I mean a bulb, it's like this kind of meaty part. <laughs> Smells meaty. Meaty part of your nose. And we're gonna try to accentuate that, try to give it a slight lift. I'm gonna go where the bulb is and I'm going to accentuate it pretty high kind of take it there right so just kind of do a line across like so see we're getting somewhere it's looking way more red on camera than it is in person but you get the drift and then I'm actually gonna take it down a little bit and kind of around my nostril I like to highlight my nostril so it looks like it's one piece and what I'm doing now is underneath the nose, I'm gonna take a line here, at kind of like the top tip, and draw a shadow there. Like that. Because we're gonna lift the nose now. I'm gonna kind of take it out at an angle and bring it around, kind of like a full circle. We're kind of creating a false circle bulb. Cool. So we're not done yet, okay? But wait! There's more. Now we need to kind of blend it and highlight it in certain areas to make it really pop. So now we're gonna take kind of like a, a flat brush, kind of like this, a rounded kind of flat brush. Let's go into Jawbreaker palette. You're gonna want like a vanilla color white, okay? And then Jawbreaker palette, I'm gonna use the color Virgin. I'm gonna hit that. So I'm gonna go on the side of my nose first and I'm gonna create kind of like a U shape with this white. We're giving the illusion that the nose is doing this. Okay, see how that helped out my nose immediately? It's less like this and just a little bit more shapely. And try not to pick a shimmer, more of a matte shade for this. And now we're gonna take that same white and go down the bridge just a little bit. And then we're gonna take that same white and hit the top, the very top of it, okay? Don't be afraid to go crazy because you always can like dust it off a little bit later. Let's not go crazy. Remember when using light tones, it makes it stick out and using darker tones make it fade back into the background. So I'm trying to elongate that tip so it sticks out further than my bridge. Go ahead and take your beauty blender and blend it all in to your liking. So now we have this kind of nose contour. 
and like I said, you can go heavy with it. You can go a little bit lighter, blend it out, up to you, but that's just kind of the illusion of this nose. Great, so now that we're done with the nose contour, let's move on to eyes. The eyes are the nipples of the face. So with eyes, I'm gonna use the same thing, the Jawbreaker palette. We're gonna use the color Virgin again. Like I said, you want something kind of vanilla-y white for your color. We're gonna douse that just with a flat brush and put it all over, shove it on there. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take one of these type of brushes, Morphe M506 brush. We're gonna go back into the witching hour and we're gonna do Summon Us. And we're gonna take that again from ColourPop. We did it. You already could see the crease kind of forming here. We're gonna create kind of like a half moon shape. Marilyn had pretty dreamy eyes. So I'm gonna start up pretty tall here. Kind of curve it like so. When making this crease, try not to make the crease so thick. Try to keep it on the thinner side if you can. Also what I like to do is take the crease and kind of flare it out where a wing would be. We're gonna take Virgin again, kind of like a flat angle brush, and we're gonna hit that top of that eyebrow and really highlight it. And then we're also gonna kind of use it to carve that bottom piece and take it down too. Down and out, kind of like how I just did. So you can kind of see that crease a little bit better. Don't go all the way in, leave that dark up here, okay? We're also gonna get Green Newt. It's down here, it's brown. Don't know why it's called Green Newt. A newt. We're just gonna take it at the edge of the corner here. And I'm just gonna take that darker shade on the outer edge of my crease, only in that part. And then I'm also gonna take that white shadow, kind of hit the inner corner here and a little bit down just to kind of open up that eye in that corner. Okay, so I'm gonna do this side and I will catch you guys a little bit later, then we'll move on to eyeliner. Done! So now that we have the eyes, kind of eyeshadow structure done, I'm gonna take a white eyeliner pencil, okay? And we're gonna hit the outside hit of like your edge of your tear duct, like so. Great. Now you're gonna go inside your waterline. Apologies for my sleep away camp face while doing eyeliner. Now that that's done, we're gonna take the same white eyeliner and we're gonna take this outer corner and just kind of bring it out a bit. And I'm making kind of like a V. If that makes sense. Do you see that? There, so it kind of opens that eye a little bit. So now what we're going to do is take a very thin angled brush like this. Let's get it wet. That's what she said. Pinch it a little bit. I'm going to mix Summon Us and a little bit of Green Newt together. So I'm just gonna take just the edge of that. Then we're gonna go underneath our eye and create an underwing, okay? So we're gonna take wherever that white eyeliner you put, you're gonna put this right underneath that white eyeliner and extend it out. It's supposed to give the illusion of a shadow from your eyelash down. When doing this, you only wanna keep the eyeliner as far out as your eyelashes will go. So it just depends on your eyelashes. If they're long, they're gonna go longer. If they're short, they're gonna go shorter. Like so. Now we have this kind of <laughs> very interesting look. Well, it looks weird. Now we're gonna move on to top eyeliner. Time for type of liquid eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. I just like shaking it. I don't even know if that's doing anything. It's probably breaking it. Uh, this liquid eyeliner is just the Revlon Colorstay Skinny Eyeliner. We're gonna create a very thin line and a wing on the extended part. So in between that wing should be the white and then your under shadow. Remember to keep this winged eyeliner very thin. If you are gonna go a little bit thick, only keep it thick on the inner corner of your eye and then it slowly fades out into a thinner piece. There, and that is my eyeliner shape. I'm gonna go off the camera and do the other side. So now we have eyes done, dreamy, crazy. It looks more natural. Blush time. For the blush, you want to pick something corally, and I like putting my blush exactly where I put all my contour. 
That's the Jeffree Star Morphe collection. I'm gonna go in this shade right here and it's called My, My, Ma. For this type of blush, I like it to be as baby pink as I can get it. And I only apply it to the apples of my cheeks and right above the darker blush. Mascara I am using is Maybelline Total Temptation. Total Temptation Mascara. And this one is pretty self-explanatory. Just put mascara all over your eyes. And also don't forget the bottom lashes either, but don't go too heavy with them. We're not in the 60s. And now I look like the girl from the ring. Great. Next, eyelashes. Today I'm using a uh, Kiss Masterpiece Lash Couture, one of a kind lashes. Uh, usually the eyelashes that you're kind of want to look for is something that starts small and then gradually gets bigger at the end. And I'm going to use Lash Duo in the color black. And I like cutting the eyelashes too to kind of make corner pieces. So I cut from the edge. This is really hard to do with fake nails. Put it on the outer edge of your lash. There. So now we kind of have that dreamy eye. It's so dreamy. Great, now that we have our eyelashes on. Oh my God, it's hot in this turtleneck. We're gonna move on to lips and I'm gonna use two different lip colors here from Daphne Beauty. One is a darker red, one is more of like a vibrant bright red, like classic red. Um, it's not a red red, but it's a, that's a red, it's a red. Not sure, you can look it up at our website at DaphneBeauty.com. But Marilyn had a very interesting mouth. Uh, she definitely had quite a bowed lip. It wasn't as dramatic as like Lucy's, like a huge heart shape, but it, it did have a nice shape. And she did overdraw her lips and she used like multiple different colors. And we're gonna create that kind of round shape of Marilyn. So you're gonna take that darker red and round out your lips. You're gonna keep that Cupid's bow, but round it out like a heart shape. And then don't be afraid to go outside the side of your lips. Marilyn's lips from the side were a little bit wide. Kind of hearted and out. So you're gonna think heart shape. Once you have your desired lip shape, go ahead and fill it in with a darker color. And then later, go take your lighter shade of red and fill that top lip in. And I kind of like filled it in really quick. I'm gonna take this lighter color here and I'm gonna fill her in. top lip done. This looks so weird. I wasn't gonna say anything. Now outline your bottom lip and leave the center of it empty so you can fill it in with the lighter red later. I'm gonna fill it in. Now fill in your lighter shade of red. There we are. We have the lips. We almost have the full finished look of Marilyn. Now I'm just gonna go in with highlight and then we're gonna add a mole and then I'm gonna slap on a wig. So the highlight I'm gonna be using is Daphna Beauty. I'm gonna use this little doe foot brush. It's so pretty and I'm just, now Marilyn didn't really have highlight because that wasn't really created back then. Marilyn used Vaseline. What, 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 what? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right. Marilyn used Vaseline to give herself that glowy, glowy skin texture. And I don't wanna put Vaseline on my face, so we're just gonna hit it at the highest points here. Well, why is it wrong for me to want those things? On the tip of my nose, like if I pinch the brush in my tear duct area to kind of brighten that up as well. Definitely on the brow bone though, and take it out. We're doing very glamorous, Marilyn. Very glamorous. Let's take that highlight, put it a little bit on the lip. Great mole time. So here's a little secret about the moles that a couple of Marilyns and I do. Ooh, I love secrets. We'll take a normal bobby pin like this. You see how there's like a little bulb on the edge of that? Take Eyelash Black Duo, push it out, take a little dab of it, and then smile. Find where that crease is, and put it right there. And look at that. Not only will you have a perfect shaped circle, that's like the right size mole, not too big, not too small, but it'll dry black and it'll be slightly elevated. So that's a little secret tip for me. Did I put it on the right, right, right side? God, it's been, it's been forever since I've done Marilyn. Well, figure it out. So I think that is Marilyn's face. Let's go put on a wig and I'll kind of like show you what it looks like all together. Yeah, sound good? Hot, so hot. God, I hate wig caps, but they're a necessity. Ah! I am a penis. 
And there we have it. Marilyn in the flesh. Here it is. All right, guys, here is my finished Marilyn Monroe drag look. I hope you guys really like it and you learned some things from it. And uh, leave some comments down below if you have any more questions. Well, that about does it. You guys, uh, here is the final Marilyn Monroe look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helps you achieve your Marilyn Monroe glamorous something. You do have a way with words. I, I'm really not sure what you're going to do this with. Thanks for enjoying this episode. Remember, I am Pinup Palmer and keep it pink and spooky. And don't forget to check me out here on Instagram down below. Or if you want to see other videos of mine, they're all down here. Check them out, like them, comment. Oh, and also tell me, guys, what you want to see me transform into next time. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to notify yourself that I just uploaded a new video. And I guess I will see my little spooky babies later. Mwah.